What's going on guys, Tom Flip HD here, and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. This time it's the lineup prediction for the game against Crystal Palace on the 24th of September. Um, we are at home, kickoff is 3 o'clock, so we're just going to jump straight into the lineup quickly. Um, let's make this a short video as much as we can. So we're going to start off with Jordan Pickford in goal. There's no, not, there's not much to be said. You know, Manone is still out for a long term. Uh, Mika is, for me, the backup keeper to Pickford, so Pickford will start. At left back, I would like to see Javier Manquillo. I get the feeling that Patrick Van Anholt uh, is still ruled out over health issues. So if Manquillo does start, um, sorry, if Van Anholt doesn't start, then Manquillo will start at left back. In the first defensive spot, we have Lamin Corne, and the other um, centre back is Papi Gilabogi. Those two have a partnership now. Um, they're pretty much first choice centre backs. Not much to be said about them. The right back will be Jason Denier, if I can spell his name. There we go, Jason Denier. So Denier will obviously play right back. He's played right back for Manchester City in the past. So he played. He also played uh, right back against Tottenham. Uh, had a decent game, um, but Hunrin Song just kept getting past them and just literally ripped him a new one the next player is going to be sorry about this guys uh, so yeah the next player is going to be Jan Kirchhoff primarily for the fact that uh, Kirchhoff is one of those players that will always sit um, in front of the back four uh, obviously, you know, his passing is, well, his distribution is unmatched in the team. And for me, he does deserve to start. The next centre mid will be um, Lee Catamore, who for me is a first team starter guaranteed. You know, his work effort, um, his passion on the pitch is obviously shown. The next centre mid is Didier Ndong, who. Did all right against Tottenham, I guess. I mean, I can't really say much about him, so I haven't really seen him play apart from the Tottenham match, and he done all right. So for me, and Dong will start. Left mid will be Wabi Kazri. Yanazai is suspended um, following the second yellow card that he picked up against Tottenham. I'm not sure if we got that rescinded. I honestly don't know. Um, so if obviously if Yanazai is still suspended, then Kazri will start ahead of him. Duncan Watmore is our next player, who is one of our bright sparks, but again just needs to work on his attacking rather than helping out in defence. And the striker is obviously Jermaine Defoe. So that is the starting lineup, guys. I will move on to the substitutes quickly, and we'll start with Mika, who. Obviously, like I say, back up to Jordan Pickford. Paddy McNair is the next center, is the next substitute, who is a backup centre back or CDM. Scored two goals for us uh, midweek against QPR. I'm happy about that. The next substitute is Donald Love, who for me is a substitute right back for Jason Denier, just in case, or maybe a spare. Uh, fullback for Javier Manquillo as well. Jack Rodwell is our next uh, substitute there. Rodwell is one of those centre mids that you just, you know, you just sort of go, okay, he's a squad player, you know, he has good days, he has bads, but he's not a first team starter. Not in a long chance. Next substitute is Landon Gooch, who for me, again, doesn't deserve to start. Um, unproven starter, but you know, maybe one day he will become, um, you know, one of them players that we will rely on heavily. The next substitute I would like to see is George Honeyman, who has played well in the re in the reserves the past few games. You know, might deserve a spot on the bench. And the last substitute is Joel Osoro. So that 
is my prediction lineup, guys. It, it, like I say, this has been a very short video. Um, so thank you so very much for watching. If you've got anything to say about the lineup, do put it in the comment section down below. Um, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video and want to see some more, drop a thumbs up as well. If you again, if you want me to continue these, you know, every week for every game, let me know, and I'll do that. You know, I really do need your guys' opinion on this. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys.